After millions of years of evolution, our species has, like an aging rock band, evolved into a comfortable familiar groove. Your classic bipedal theory of mind having homo sapiens. Then there's another class of humans. This class of humans has spectacular powers, such as mind control or the ability to manipulate electromagnetic waves, and exists mostly in big budget global superhero franchises like X-Men. Ever since scientists created the powerful gene editing technology CRISPR, they have braced apprehensively for the day when it would be used to create a genetically altered human being. Many nations banned such work, fearing it could be misused to alter everything from eye color to IQ. Now the moment they feared may have come. It felt as if humanity had crossed an important line. In China, a scientist named He Yan Qi announced that twins had been born with a gene that he had edited when they were embryos. The researcher He Jian Qi said that he had altered a gene in the embryos before having them implanted in the mother's womb, with the goal of making the babies resistant to infection with HIV. Is gene alteration legal? While the United States and many other countries have made it illegal to deliberately alter the genes of human embryos, it is not against the law to do so in China. But the practice is opposed by many researchers there. A group of 122 Chinese scientists issued a statement calling Dr. He's actions crazy and his claims a huge blow to the global reputation and development of Chinese science. If human embryos can be routinely edited, many scientists, ethicists, and policymakers fear a slippery slope to a future in which babies are genetically engineered for traits, like athletic or intellectual prowess, that have nothing to do with the prevention of devastating medical conditions. Is China trying to make its own version of Captain America? US intelligence has suggested so, but beyond the hype, the possibility of a super soldier is not so outlandish and one that not just China is interested in. How is it different from natural selection? It's unlikely that natural selection is currently operating to give people telepathy or mind control, and it's fair to say that traits which defy the laws of gravity like flight are unlikely to ever evolve in humans. But one thing that's being developed now is the technology that allows us to make changes to our DNA, using CRISPR, Cas9 which is a way of editing genomes, including, in principle, the human genome. This is setting up a scenario in which soon it might be possible to make changes to humans and other organisms in very specific, deliberate ways, if we're talking about traits that are at least physically possible. For example, humans can see within a certain range of light. We so call it the visible light spectrum, because that's what we can see. But insects in some cases can see the light that is invisible to humans, ultraviolet light for example. So that means it's physically possible for an organism to see UV light. We just don't have that ability to do that. Because our photoreceptor cells in our eyes aren't attuned to those wavelengths of light. So, if we knew all the genetics that allow an insect to see light in the ultraviolet spectrum, then at least in theory it might be possible to alter our own genes to allow humans to see the light in the UV range as well. What is CRISPR and how does it work? CRISPR's talents are far-ranging, and years into the future it's possible that the technology could also be used to replicate the talents of Aquaman in humans, bring dinosaurs back from extinction, or give us enhanced vision akin to Hawkeye from the Avengers. We're not saying that anyone should perform genome engineering on a superhuman scale, even if it were possible, but thanks to CRISPR, the superpower that allows scientists to make any mutations they want in their model system already exists. Researchers are already working on repairing single gene disorders such as cystic fibrosis, Huntington's disease, and sickle cell disease. CRISPR is quickly becoming a part of our everyday lives. In simple words, the process of CRISPR is a way of finding a specific bit of DNA inside a cell. After that, the next step in CRISPR gene editing is usually to alter that piece of DNA. However, CRISPR has also been adapted to other things too, such as turning genes on or off without altering their sequence. The creation of super soldiers. Enhancement is nothing new. Since ancient times, troops have been bolstered by advancements in weaponry and training. But today, the enhancement could mean much more than merely giving an individual soldier a better weapon. It could mean altering the individual soldier, 
Even if scientists could safely improve an individual's attributes, the application in the military field raises its own issues. Militaries around the world have quite a lot of interest in the possibility of super soldiers. Having a super soldier in the ranks is a captivating prospect for militaries. Imagine a soldier who could withstand pain, extreme cold, or the need to sleep. A few years back, Russia's President Vladimir Putin warned that humanity could soon create something worse than a nuclear bomb. There are reports that China has already made substantial efforts in this regard. The former U.S. Director of National Intelligence DNI, John Radcliffe went further with the blunt accusation against China. He said that China has been conducting human testing on members of the People's Liberation Army in hope of developing soldiers with biologically enhanced capabilities. There are no ethical boundaries to Beijing's pursuit of power. The Real Life Superhumans Humans may not have the ability to sense danger with Spider-Man-style spider senses, or sprout adamantian claws like Wolverine. But there are humans walking among us that have their own superpowers. These superhumans have powers the typical person would think impossible, and they are the result of genetic mutations. Are you a superhuman? Let's find out. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon with notifications as fast as you can. A Super Skeleton Tim Dreyer of Johannesburg, South Africa carries a mutation that makes his bones far denser than the average human allowing him to walk away from accidents that would normally land the rest of us in an emergency room with broken bones. Human Calculator Scott Flansberg from New York has been described as a human calculator. From a young age, he has been able to calculate numbers super quickly. An MRI scan showed that when performing calculations, an area of the brain usually associated with movement is being used rather than cortical networks seen normally. Can't feel pain Stephen Pete of Washington State carries a genetic mutation in the SCN9A gene, which causes insensitivity to pain. While you might think this could only be a good thing, Stephen has broken more bones than he can count, and once chewed off part of his tongue without realizing it. Supervision Veronica Seider of Stuttgart, Germany holds the record of having the best eyesight in the world. The normal human eye has a visual acuity of 2020, but Veronica has been measured at around 22. She can identify people from more than a mile away. Rubber Boy Daniel Browning Smith from Mississippi is one of the world's most famous contortionists. He has seven Guinness Book World Records and can dislocate both arms and both legs, and turn his torso 180 degrees. His flexibility is at least in part due to a rare condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome which causes connective tissues to become loose and stretchy. Genetic modification is becoming a real-world phenomenon, and there is a lot to be done to set proper scientific, political, and ethical codes for it. Captain America may not yet be around the corner, but there is always the possibility of a surprise development. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and do hit the bell icon with the super strength and super speed. What's your opinion of gene editing humans and CRISPR? Let us know in the comment section below. We'll be back with another amazing video soon. If you liked this video, click the video on the right about scientists creating artificial life without reproductive cells. We're sure you'll find it interesting or watch our latest video on the left side. Peace out.